Hey, I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, your Rec Tech expert, and I've got a heck of a recipe today for your significant other. We're doing smoked Cabernet lamb shakes. Stay tuned. So this recipe is gonna start with two three to four pound lamb shanks. That's right, these things are huge. Hopefully, by the end of this recipe, they will fit in our pot. Um, uh, but these are absolutely beautiful. We got them from our local lamb purveyor, and there's not much to do. They did a really good job of butchering these. Um, but just like a brisket, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off some of this hard fat uh, and uh, uh, cut these up just a little bit, but easy peasy lemon squeezy, okay? And you can, you know, just run your hand across these bad boys. And uh, you can feel uh, which fat is hard and which fat you need to take off and which fat you need to leave. All right, we made uh, quick work of that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, don't overthink it, ladies and gentlemen, okay? That's the, the first issue some people have, is they just overthink it, okay? Today, we're gonna be using the RT1250 available at Rectech.com, and we're gonna be burning the ultimate blend pellets. You can see those bags those beautiful ultimate blend pellet bags behind me. Both of those items available at rectech.com. And that's what we're gonna be using today. I've got it preheating to 450 degrees. Next step is we're gonna put just a little bit of olive oil on these lamb shanks. And that's just gonna be a little bit of a binder for us. And we're gonna be uh, adding some Ben's heifer dust. Now Ben's heifer dust is essentially salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika, if you don't want to go to rectech.com and get that Ben's Heifer Dust or the ultimate um, rub and sauce bundle, um, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, those look absolutely amazing. Now, we'll just let these sit. You know, about five minutes, we're gonna let them sweat out a little bit. And then we're gonna place them in the RT1250. This bad boy's got a six year warranty. PID controller, it's gonna maintain temperature perfectly for us. Stainless steel inside and out. It's a beautiful machine. Make sure you go check it out at rectech.com. Now we're just gonna roast these for about 45 to 50 minutes until they get some beautiful mahogany color on them. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them on the RT1250. Now you can see we got that cast enamel Dutch oven on the inside, also preheating. We're gonna need that a little bit later, um, but this is gonna take about 45 to 50 minutes until we see some really good, beautiful color on these bad boys. All right, it's been about 45 minutes and that ultimate blend pellet partnered with the RT1250 have already started some beautiful color uh, on those lamb shanks. So now we've got that Dutch cast iron enamel Dutch oven on the inside. Uh, we're gonna saute up our vegetables. First thing I gotta do is um, I cheat and I don't buy whole carrots. I just buy the little baby carrots and I actually just cut them in half. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That way uh, you don't have to shave them. Um, all you got to do is essentially cut them in half. And you don't really have to cut them in half. You can leave them whole, okay? But that's a little uh, chef tip, a little cheat for you. Makes an amazing grill to add to your collection. So we're going to go on in here. A little bit of olive oil to get the party started. There are carrots, our onions. our celery in there. A little bit of Ben's heifer dust. Give it a little stir and we want these to caramelize and break down. So we'll come back in about 25 minutes. All right, after about 25 minutes, our vegetables are delicious and caramelized and ready to accept some of this liquid that we have over here. So we're gonna add our tomatoes, our beef broth, uh, some delicious aromatic herbs, and of course, some Cabernet red wine, okay? Those veggies be looking fine. Fine, fine, fine. In goes our beef stock, tomato product, a bit of rosemary, bay leaves, Gotta hit it off with a little bit more of that Ben's heifer dust. We're gonna let this simmer, and then we're gonna throw our lamb shanks in this deliciousness. Oh yeah, can't forget about the wine. About 16 ounces of red wine. 
sets it off, makes it a smoked Cabernet lamb shank. All right, our delicious Cabernet vegetable mixture uh, is simmering in our Dutch oven. Um, and our lamb shanks are ready to go in. Now, if at any point in time those lamb shanks start getting a little dark, go ahead and take those bad boys out, okay? You don't want them to get too dark. Um, but again, you want them to have beautiful, robust color. And that's exactly what we've got going on in the RT1250 right now. Uh, so we're gonna put the lamb shanks in, cover it, reduce the grill to 325 degrees, let it simmer another two to three hours till it's beautiful. But the 1250 makes a perfect grill for this dish because it gives you enough room. It also has the PID controller so you're able to monitor and maintain that temperature perfectly. All right, the 1250 has been working on those lamb shanks for about two and a half to three hours now. Uh, they are wonderful and probe tender and ready to come off. So let's check them out. Cheese and crackers. They look absolutely amazing. We've got a big old delicious bowl of mashed potatoes here. You can also uh, partner this dish with uh, some rice. Uh, and of course the vegetables on bottom do a really good justice to this as well. So let's serve ourselves up some. Put a little bit of these vegetables down there at the bottom. Get some of that delicious gravy in there. Shoot ya. I'm gonna try to get these bad boys in their hole. Ooh, it's hot. Perfect. Looks good to me. Actually gonna add a couple more carrots for the picture that we're gonna take later. But I ain't gonna lie to you, boy look pretty good we're gonna green them up mmm 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 cheese and crackers smoked Cabernet lamb shanks it's a hell of a dish hell of a dinner make it this year for you and your family make sure you go to rectech.com check out all the amazing products we've got amazing grills coolers pellets ladies and gentlemen Everything you saw here today can be purchased at rectech.com. Don't forget to follow me on social media at BBQ Dad Jody. And of course, follow Rectech on all social media for more amazing content, more amazing recipes just like this. Thank you guys so much. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. We'll see you at the Rectech. Chef John, look how good this looks.